In today's video, we'll learn how to create different types of navbar layouts using CSS Flexbox, we'll style the navigation bar, arrange the logo, nav links, and buttons in different positions, and make everything look clean, modern, and responsive. If you want to learn more about responsive navbars, you can check out our videos with or without JavaScript. The link is in the description. Let's get started. Let's build a simple navigation bar in HTML. We start with the nav tag as the container. Inside it, we create a div with the class logo and add the text CSS Snippets as our brand. Next, we add a UL with the class nav links. Inside it, we place four LI items with links Home, Services, Portfolio, and About. These are the main navigation links. Then, we create another div with the class BTNs and add a button with the class BTN and the text Login. So, our navbar has three parts, the logo, the links, and the login button. Finally, we link our CSS file to style the navigation bar. In the style.css file, we start by adding some basic styles for the navigation. First, we style the nav element by setting the width to 100%, adding padding of 1 rem 5%, giving it a transparent white background with a light bottom border, and adding a blur effect using backdrop filter. We also add a small margin below the nav bar. You can see the result. Next, we style the logo by increasing the font size to 1.8 rem, making it bold, adding a bright blue color and giving it a little letter spacing. This makes the logo look perfectly styled. For the nav links, we remove the list style, use flex to display the items in a row, and add a gap of 2 rem between each link, so they are nicely spaced and aligned. Then, for nav links LEA, we set the position to relative, increase the font size to 1.05 rem, make the text medium weight, remove the underline, and use a light gray color. This gives the links a clean design. Finally, in Navlinks LIA Hover, we change the text color to blue and add a glowing text shadow to create a nice hover effect. For smooth transitions, we can add transition, 0.3 seconds in the A-Link class. Now we style the login button. We set display flex to align the buttons in a row. The BTN class has padding of 0.5 rem, 1.5 rem for spacing, a 30 pixel border radius to make it rounded, bold text with font weight 600, and a font size of 1 rem. The background is a bright blue with dark navy text, and we add a glowing effect using box shadow. The border is removed, the cursor is set to pointer, and we add a smooth transition effect for hover. On hover, the button changes to a darker blue, and the glow effect becomes stronger. Now you can see the login button has an awesome glowing style. Now we style the navbar in the first layout by setting the nav class to use display flex, with a line item center and justify content space between. This arrangement places the logo on the left, the navigation links in the center, and the buttons on the right. With just these three lines of code, the navbar looks clean, balanced, and perfectly arranged, even on larger screens. For the second layout, we set the nav class to justify content flex end. Then, we add margin right auto to the logo class. Now you can see the nav bar looks perfect, but we need to add some margin to create spacing between the nav links and the button. For this, we give the nav links a margin right of 30 pixels, or any value you prefer. This arrangement places the logo on the left, while the nav links and buttons are aligned to the right. The result is a clean, well-balanced nav bar that fits perfectly on larger screens. In the third layout, we add a div with the class nav group as a direct child of the nav tag and place all the nav bar content, logo and nav links, inside this div. To style this layout, we set the nav class to justify content, space between, and for the nav group class, we use display, flex, align items, center, and a gap of 2 rem. This perfectly arranges the nav bar with the logo and nav links on the left and the buttons on the right, giving it a clean, well-structured look that works perfectly on larger screens. For the fourth layout, we place the logo between the nav links and the button. To style this, we set the nav class to justify content space between. 
At first, the logo doesn't appear perfectly centered because the nav links are longer while the button is shorter. To fix this, we add margin right 15 rem to the logo class. This adjustment centers the logo perfectly, with the nav links on the left and the button on the right, creating a clean layout that works great on larger screens. Finally, in the last layout, we create a nav bar without buttons by making two nav links classes to split the links into halves and placing the logo between the first and second set of links. To style it, we set the nav class to justify content, center, and add a gap of 3 rem. This centers both the logo and the nav links, giving the nav bar a clean and balanced look that fits perfectly on larger screens.